today I'm going to try to answer um, a couple of important questions that I have been asked many times that are once you start dialysis, do you need to do it forever for the rest of your life? And if you start dialysis, you or your body will become dependent. So you cannot stop because just starting dialysis. For those who came for the first time, I'm Dr. Francisco. I'm a specialist nephrologist and a transplant immunologist working at Francisco Kidney and Medical Center in Singapore. This is the bite-sized information for kidney and related conditions destined to help patients or their relatives to understand the disease better so they can take better decisions for self-management or with their own doctor or with me if they choose me so they can have less complications and less worries which is very important not only for their physical but also for their mental well-being so as i mentioned today we're going to discuss if you start dialysis, it has to be forever for the rest of your life. And once you start, your body becomes dependent and you cannot stop it. As commented, it's a very common and important question that I have been asked many times because it reflects, you know, the hope that patients have for, for the kidneys to recover. I will tell you that the facts are that progressive and severe injury to the kidneys can cause permanent and irreparable damage to the kidneys. And in these circumstances, it can end up in total kidney failure. If total kidney failure is confirmed by your doctor or by whatever blood tests or investigations you do, dialysis then will be needed for life obviously unless you have the option for a kidney transplant but it still means that your kidneys have given up they have failed and you need to do something to replace the function of your kidneys and then um, dialysis will be for life because unfortunately permanent and severe damage cannot be repaired and the kidney function will not recover on its own. Not because you have become dependent. It's not like a drug that you take and your body kind of, you know, need it. It's just because your condition is severe enough that you cannot do otherwise. You simply need dialysis because your kidney problem is too advanced, too severe, too complicated, that your kidneys cannot clean the blood adequately anymore to sustain your life or to keep you well. And then as a consequence, dialysis is necessary. Or otherwise, you will become very ill and your life could be in imminent danger. Uh, sorry, Pidele uh, a Wati, Wati, please help me. So, apologize for the interruption. Um, so, I was saying that if not, your life could be in imminent, imminent danger. All what I just mentioned applies when chronic kidney disease, chronic failure uh, progresses into total kidney failure. But it is important to discuss also acute kidney failure. Some patients develop acute kidney failure, which can be potentially reversible, and they might need you know, to be supported with some sort of dialysis for a certain period of time while their kidneys or the general condition improves. Then dialysis can be stopped at some point. So in these cases, dialysis will not be forever. Similarly, some other patients develop an acute deterioration of a chronic kidney problem. For instance, 
they might have chronic kidney disease, let's say due to uh, diabetes mellitus, and then suddenly they become acutely ill, for instance, due to an infection or a heart attack, which then cause their general condition to deteriorate fast, making also their kidney function to deteriorate, to drop to the point of needing dialysis. But later, if the general condition improves, the kidneys can also improve, the kidney function can be sufficiently recovered to be off dialysis. So in these scenarios, dialysis will not be forever. However, many patients present with kidney function similarly in the levels of kidney failure. We have other previous tests or clues suggesting if indeed the disorder is chronic or an acute one, meaning something that has been there for a long time or something that is new. What I mean, patients just out of the blue discover in a health screening that they have poor kidney function or maybe after seeing a doctor for some unexplained symptoms but with no previous history of kidney problems. At that moment, it will be sometimes quite difficult to know if it's an acute problem or a chronic problem. Then we as nephrologists, we need to use obviously our medical knowledge and expertise and experience to try to differentiate um, if it's an acute or chronic problem, to arrange some extra tests to help us uh, differentiate these two situations. For example, sometimes an ultrasound of the kidneys can show the kidneys are already quite small. So in these cases, most likely it's a permanent uh, chronic problem. And many other tests. But occasionally, only time allows us to have an answer only by observing how the, the patient condition progresses. If with time it gets better or not, it can tell us if the problem was actually an acute or chronic. In some cases it's, it's 25 or in some not so easy. So if through time there is no observable recovery, it is most likely that the damage is permanent. In fact, some patients might need to start dialysis first, although it is not an exact rule. If by three months of starting dialysis, the kidneys do not show any signs of recovery, it is more likely that the kidney dysfunction is permanent and dialysis will be needed for the rest of the life of the patient, or that they need to be transplanted if they are suitable for it. In occasion, some patients start showing some signs of recovery. For instance, they start producing more urine or the creatinine levels start dropping or they are too good for a patient on dialysis. Then that may be in the case that the kidneys have improved and we can probably stop dialysis and observe. And some patients have gone through that and the dialysis have been stopped is possible but sadly when the condition has been there for a long time and through time the kidney function has been dropping 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 the creatinine has going up and up and up and total kidney failure is reached or the levels of total kidney failure are reached under those circumstances basically it's not reversible every patient and every situation is different and there are some situations that are more complex than others. And it's sometimes difficult to predict the chances of recovery in specific patients. In Francisco Kinian Medical Center, we do thorough assessments of our patient situations to be able to advise them as best as we can regarding these uh, difficult situation. We know that patients have big hopes behind these questions. 
hoping their kidneys to improve. We are indeed empathetic, but we also need to be frank to our patients. And if we believe there is no chances, we unfortunately we need to be frank to them so they can take the best steps in preparation of the next stage in their life and their health. But we walk the path with them and we guide them to understand these changes as best as possible so they can manage them better and not only physically but also mentally can suffer less together with their own families. If you need our help, you know how to contact me. All my contacts are in you know, my website, Facebook, etc. I'm Dr. Francisco, wishing you the best possible health. Take care. Bye-bye.